With a snap of his fingers, the Mad Titan ensured the success of this show by turning Pete and Mike to ash. Mythwits a symbol! The show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest uh, to talk about the ever-expanding Geekiverse and to play a game with us. we got a good game tonight, too. Uh, we do our damnest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. I'm your host, Peter Bryant, and joining me this week are my co-hosts, Mike Kafis. Oh, oh, Mr. Bryant, I don't feel so good. Oh. <laughs> Jay Libby. I'm feeling snappy, boys. <laughs> and Will oh, Conrad. Greetings. I'm sorry, I don't have a snappy... Uh, snappy greeting like everyone else does. Uh, y- right. You'll get a snappy outro. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Don't worry. Hey, if we had, God, if we, I was just thinking, Mike, when I was I was taking a leak before the show, and I was thinking, man, you know, if we had a budget when we ended the show tonight, we could actually like all like you know fade away into dust. But we don't we don't have budgets cool. like that, so so no. that, that won't be happening. All right, we could so, all do it. <laughs> we can pretend. Yeah, well, all right, we'll pretend. We'll pretend. All right. So just so just so everyone, uh, anyone watching knows, um, get ready. This is spoilerific. If you haven't seen Infinity War, get the fuck out. Watch it some other time. Watch it later because we are not holding back. We're going to reveal everything that we want to reveal. Everything we want to talk about. Or yeah, you've had like don't go weeks. watch it and just assume that we got it all right for you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. What's that, Will? It's been four weeks at this point. If you haven't watched it, what are you doing with your life? Right, you Parker? are not. You are not a true fan if you haven't seen it by now. Even Jay. Jay squeezed it in. He's had a hard time, but he got it in. I've seen it three times, and I'm actually a little disappointed with myself that I didn't see it last weekend. Oh, God. I've, I, I missed it again. I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm not a true nerd anymore. Jonathan, <laughs> we're, we're not really going really to spoil it. Just stick around. All right? We're not really going to spoil it. It's fine. It's fine. We are. We, we're going to spoil it. Jonathan Reinhardt, take a fucking hike. We're going to spoil it. Right. <laughs> oh, Deadpool 2 was better. I will say that, Spence. You are exactly Ooh, right. You, I got to disagree with that. All right, no, no. Oh, hey, guys, 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 I haven't seen Deadpool 2. Please don't tell me anything about it. I haven't seen it either, so don't spoil Please, it. Please, oh. I haven't had a chance. I, I got... Well, I... I have a nine-year-old. I can't take her to see Deadpool, so we haven't gone that's to see it. That's a good, good choice, Pete. Thank you for oh. being responsible there. Come on, I know. I saw Deadpool 1. Look, if I could take her to see Deadpool, we would already have seen it. I just, I, I, I got, and my, I can't go without my wife because she wants to see it. So it's me and my wife. Got to get away without the daughter to go see it. So that's my excuse. Well, I haven't seen it yet. But anyway, so we did a whole show talking about the lead up to Infinity War. And, uh, or, or as I like to joke around at work, the Avenger versus the Infinity Wars. And, um, and uh, we got some stuff right. We got some stuff wrong. Uh, but, hey, Mike, Mike, you did a bunch of notes for this. So, you know what? I'm going to let yep. you start this out. Go ahead. Okay. Fire it up. All right. Uh, well, uh, let's see. First, I would say uh, let's get – we'll go down the panel, and we will say – what our general impressions were uh, with the movie. Now, what I would ask everyone to do is, and I'll go first, to say, personally, I gave it four out of five, or 4.5 out of five stars, okay? Uh, and my general impression of the movie was, uh, I really I, I really liked it. Um, bringing all of 10 years of connective tissue all to this, you know, huge groin kick that I got at the end of the movie was worth every payout, and I enjoyed it immensely. Um, were there a few things that I was like, eh, I, I would have preferred that was a little different? Then, yeah, but ultimately, um, the the fact that it was like uh, this the center um, square of an in like ten years of tic tac toe, it was really good. Um, why don't we go with Jay? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got I've got a shrine of Thanos in my house. So he, he, was, he was my superhero when I was a little kid, not knowing that he was worshiping death. I liked the movie. I gave it an A minus only because Okay, I I, I I said four I mean out of five stars, Jay. It's not that <laughs> hard. That's a four point five, Mike. Is that a one star? Mike, one star? Mike it's a four point five. Don't be a don't be a bitch, Mike. I I'm gonna stab my fingers and take care of your problem. <laughs> God. So, go ahead, Jay. Don't let Mike. So, any, anyways, so if I forget about all the comics and everything that I grew up on, which I, I completely loved, and they completely butchered the entire story of Infinity War the way they did, it still wasn't a bad movie. Um, I was a little pissed about the continuity of of Eros being Thanos' dad, which really pissed me off because 
You completely wreck like some great Marvel stuff you could use later, and now it's all gone. Um, the good thing is, I like the fact that at the end of the film, you know, Thanos was sitting at his little farm like he was in the comic books, and I can live with that. That at least that was good, and that was worth sitting through the two and a half hours or however long it was to to see that happen. So. So Jay, let me let me ask you because I know this is like you're talking about how it's different from the comics, and we'll get more into that. Like I don't want to go totally in depth on that. I just want to go the one, just one thing while you're talking. So the main concept was different about this whole like him impressing Lady Death. Did you did you or did you not like that change? Did you did you dislike that change? I I don't like the change because it's like the the entire history of Thanos is based on death. I mean, yeah. right to the, the original appearances and stuff and. To, to wreck him like that. I mean, it's kind of like watching the Fantastic Four cartoon. You remember that mm -hmm. really super yeah. sappy one? Yeah. Where Thanos, Thanos worshipped a statue that represented death, but death did not actually appear. Right. So that's like a core thing that they changed. Okay. That means, like, all right. All right. No, time out. Time out. That is later in the discussion. I'm no, gonna no, have to I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Mike, I was just touching on that one thing while we were okay. here because he didn't like And I, I'm not going any deeper than that. That's I, all. I know. I know. Okay. So, all right. Let's go with Will now. Will. What was your general impressions? I would give it five out of five stars, no hesitation. I okay. think it was easily the best Marvel movie. I would make a case that it was the best superhero movie, period. Uh, I might be a little biased on that, but uh, I, I think the movie just hit everything on the emotional spectrum. It was everything you wanted out of the movie. You still got the hum the trademark Marvel humor, but unlike the previous couple of movies like Guardians 2 and Thor, the humor didn't undercut the most serious parts, like the death of Gamora, the, the final snap at the end, you know, like mm -hmm. you're, those, the tension was completely preserved for all those moments. Okay. Okay. Well, Mike, I'm going to surprise mm -hmm. you. I'm going to surprise you. Cause you know, I'm always Mr. Like me, right? Pretty much. Yeah. I'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to give it five. I'm going to give it five. Oh well, yeah. I'm, and I'll, oh. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why, because Marvel, you know, they they fucking outdid themselves. Oh so, yeah, they did. So you take like he said, like you all said, ten years of movies, mm -hmm. and they poured it all in this direction. That is, that's unheard of. Okay, um, so not only that, not only that, but they had a zillion characters in this movie, and I didn't feel like anyone was shortchanged. Like they mm -hmm. actually were yeah, able to agree. touch yep. on everybody. That's amazing. That is yeah. like. That is like I know movies that have like five characters in it and they can't hit every character right. And they did it with all these characters, all big personalities. You know, didn't give anyone too much time. Uh, I I like the way they split things up and had things going on in different places. Um, I don't know, man. It was it was tight, very tight. And I like the fact that the uh, that the heroes didn't come out smelling like roses. Yeah, it was. It was. A, I was. I was wondering. I think this is actually one of the things I got wrong. So we'll probably hit on this in a little bit. But I was sure. I I wasn't sure if Thanos was going to get all the stones by the end of this movie. And the fact that he did, and they showed the snap in this movie, and that's how they ended it, was just perfect. Yeah, I I, I do. I agree. I loved how they, uh, you know, uh, kind of masked over CGI wise uh, scenes where they just showed him with one or two stones so that you didn't know. Well, and as you're watching the movie, I'm like, oh, I see what they did there. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Hey, you know? Laura, wait a minute. Laura Nicole said something that, that I have to, I do kind of have to agree with. Um, when, when they killed Gamora, when Gamora died, yeah. uh, I didn't have strong feels over that. And I like her as a character. She really loves her as a character. I liked her as a character. And I don't, I don't know if it was just the way they did it or what they did, but I didn't really, I wasn't like crushed at that. What did you guys think? I wonder if part of that has to do with because the movie isn't an Avengers movie, really. This movie is Thanos' movie. Yeah. Like, I actually love that scene, and part of the reason I love that scene is because how it hits Thanos. Not even how it hits Gamora, because I think part of it is because you know that she's about to die. Like, you probably have suspicions when they land on the planet. But as soon as the Red Skull is like, oh, spoilers, Red Skull is back, which I thought was a really cool tie-up. Right, right, right. Of a previous That's thing. a cool twist, yeah. Yeah. Um, but as soon as he's like, oh, there are sacrifices, you're like, well, crap. Uh, and then just watching the – and it kind of got ghost of Josh Brolin in this man. Just watching his facial reactions all throughout that scene were incredible. Now, so uh, well, that's a good point, Will. Now, so you were completely buy-in on – um, him 
like having the feels to get rid of his daughter. So oh, yeah. we were all but now I, I was having a little I was having trouble with that I was more on Gamora's side. Like, <laughs> you know, I knew it was coming. I, I was like, but I was I was like, oh, I don't I'm not, I don't know if I'm buying this. Like hit, you know, because I was more like her, like, yeah, I, I just what didn't really feel like he was that invested, you know what I mean? But I mean, obviously the this the Soulstone judged him as as such, but I, I don't know. It could have been me. I would make the argument. I think the writing was there. That was sufficient okay. background for that because they show the background where he yeah, first gets Gamora, they um, and they have that that incredible conversation in his throne room where he's sitting out like, "Hey, I I wanted you to sit here eventually. I wanted you to replace me." And they have a, a lot of really good emotion between them then also. Right. And don't forget the scene where they go to retrieve him in nowhere. He is talking about how, like, in my heart, I knew you still cared for me. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I, I'm gonna put myself out there. I'm gonna say this. I think this is why, and and I will take the shit for it. I am not by any means a social justice warrior, but I do have sensitivities to women who are abused. And I was just like, he abused the shit out of Gamora and um, Nebula. Nebula. And so yeah. I was kind of like, you're a dick. How could you love your daughter if you're actually doing it's, that? That's, it's, oh, so, I guess that was a, it's a little complex, bit of Mike. So, so keep in mind two things here. One, he is still the villain of the movie. Like, it's his movie. Yeah. He's still the bad guy who eradicates half of the life in the known universe. Uh, right. Two, he's also known as the Mad Titan. Like, they labeled him as a madman on his homeworld for a reason. Yeah, he's nuts, yeah. dude. He's crazy. Right. He's yeah, fucking crazy. Like that was his decision on how to fix everything: kill half of everybody, not yeah. make right. people twice as efficient, not create <laughs> more resources. It was nothing positive. His, so, own, his only a, answer was to destroy everything. But this is a good time to talk about that. So, well, yeah, because the next kind of topic I want to touch on is what do they get right plot and character wise and what do they get wrong plot and character wise? So, I mean, getting into that's fine. OK, yeah. so on the resources thing, I actually when I posted my, my own review on Facebook, I'm sure most of my friends saw this. I actually think that that would not have been a viable solution, at least in Thanos' eyes, because the problem with creating more resources is that it only makes those aspects of, of humanity that he's worried about that much worse. So if you create more resources, you're going to have more war to get those resources. And it's just going to it's just going to keep compounding on each other. And hit the problem in his eyes will not have been solved. And the right. only way to do it is just to get rid of humanity. And real quick, I want to give a shout out to Black Superman from uh, from uh, Offshoot Comics. Uh, and he's right. He said sociopaths show love differently. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. No, look, what I'm saying is like create more resources, whatever. What I was thinking more along the lines of was is make people more efficient. In other words, you only have to eat as much food to get the same amount of energy. Or, or here's another one. This would have been really good. Make people <laughs> half as fertile so that you could only ever have half as many children. Like you just, just societies would be half as fertile. So we wouldn't multiply ourselves into oblivion. It would take us, you know, two, three, because you're killing half the people. So twice as long, right? I'm just, there's other ways around that. Yeah. Killing was just like, ah, I'm going to kill half the people. There was no like discussion, no thought. Now, he might have okay, been thinking well. about it forever. But see, that's where we come back to Jay. Right, Jay? I, yeah, no. Because, okay, for one, what he did was totally right. Yeah. Because think about it. Get, I'm sorry. Y'all get so soft about this shit, but here's the reality <laughs> of it. So, so they make it clear in the film that Thanos was conquering worlds, right? He was going yeah. one world at a time, wiping out whole populations. No, half. What, half. half. half what, no, I'm sorry, half. Or half yeah. populations. Right. And he was he was making all those people fucking suffer. Now think about it. He gets the Infinity Gauntlet. He snaps his fingers. No one's suffering. No one's being tormented. There's no war. There's no loss. God. It's a simple no, half no, extermination no loss. of the universe. No loss. It does tell Gamora that her planet is now a paradise because yeah. of what he did. So I, it's, look, it's, I, I get it. I'm just saying that it's it, so altruistic of him. You're just, right. Just, I never thought of it get, like that. No, just to get back to Jay's point earlier about laid about him having having a you know this love affair, but not an affair, but this this obsession with death is then that would make more sense killing half the people because he's doing it to impress death. That was the original storyline, and that makes more it fits more in line, right, Jay? Like the Geno phase in Mass Effect. Yeah, but but even but even you know with the way they play him out in this film. It still makes sense. I mean, overpopulation, overgrowth, and stuff. You look at the worlds that he was going to. If you look at Gamora's world, right? It was a shit. Lore. It looked like a shithole, anyways. You know, and then they attack. So, okay, I'm sorry. I'm 
Bond it's believer. It's funny. No, 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 no. It's fine. Look, hey, hey, your opinion, your opinion's fine. That's why you're here. I'm just. I think it's funny. All oh, right, you guys, are, you guys are talking about getting choked up. It's like, for fuck's sake. They kill those characters, but they're gonna bring them back. They all have fucking movies lined up. They the have to, right? Years. Hey, Mike, do like, we have a line for that? How can you a character that's not dead? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we know that. We know. Yes. That. We're, we're coming so, back to that. I have a, we're I have a personal I'm missing that. that. What if Marvel is trolling us with all these future movies they're supposedly making? And they actually have nothing planned, and they're actually really dead right now. I won't. I won't even. Com- I won't complain because I wouldn't you know either. What? Actually, if they stopped all the movies with Avengers four and just didn't make any more MCU movies, I'd be perfectly happy. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this would be a fine uh, stop. But what did I text you today with Pete? I, I did these. I did those numbers. Was it twenty four mil? No, two hundred and. No, twenty four million dollars a day. Something yeah. like twenty four point nine million dollars a day. Look, Marvel is making Disney is making twenty four point nine million dollars a day for the past twenty four days. Just, <laughs> just on Infinity War, they're still making money off of Black Panther. This, this, still... I know that. I'm just just from Infinity War, right? Look, look, they look. They're not stopping this fucking money train. No, they, that they shit won't. ain't happening. Okay, and secondly. I would be sad if Tom Holland didn't come back. I love him uh, as yeah. Spider Man. I he fucking love him as Spider Man. He is so good. That like scene, his, his death scene, completely improvised. They oh, were really? just like, yeah, this this is how your character is feeling, and he all those lines were completely okay. from him. Okay, so uh, I don't know if we're jumping around or whatever, but of all the feels, like some people are saying they had feels for this and feels for that. Yeah, that yeah. was the thing that got me. When he was like, Mr. Stark, I don't want to go. I was like, oh, not Spider-Man. Well, well yeah. uh, uh, movie, uh, I guess what uh, cinema theory says that the reason he especially was feeling sick and everyone else was just like very surprised by it was because of his spider sense. Yeah. He knew. Uh- Oh, he knew he was going to okay. die. That makes sense. He was pending. He was like, oh my God, what the hell? It feels so good. What? Look, they so. sent him out like fucking David Tennant at the end of Doctor Who. I mean, come on. I just want more time. I don't want to go. He, the minute he said that, I'm like, wow, can we rip Doctor Who off just a little bit more today? Oh, Jesus, Jay. <laughs> Oh. I love that we got the negative. We got, yeah. we got negative nanny over here. Jay, Jay is the fullest cereal. Hold on. Good I got, no, I got you. I got you. I know. I know. <laughs> Jay is the fullest cereal. That, 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 that's him at the end of the screen there. Right. <laughs> that's funny. It's awesome. Anyway. All right. So, Mike, what's next? Uh, let's see. It's uh, because we did the death part. Uh, we, we talked about, but I, all right, so let me give you, I have a question about this. So uh, that with they, the, they did take that away. We said we weren't happy about that. I mean, personally, I think it was a little bit better because uh, to sell an I, the idea of killing a bunch of people for love, I think would sell less than selling, you know, the, just trying to do something as altruistic as trying to save the universe from itself kind of a thing. I mean, personally, I think they made the right decision by not doing that Um, because they, and they wouldn't have had any backstory of how or why he was in love with death and and all that kind of stuff. But my question was, uh, hold on a second, because in the, the first time we see Thanos, they talk about courting death and Thanos smiles. And that was what, like, what Iron Man? No, but, was so it Avengers or the, the first Avengers? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was in a post-credit scene, problem, right? Though, the problem though is that they haven't established the actual character of Death before now, and I think if they'd intro- I completely agree with Michael on this. I think it was just too late in the game, and I think if they'd introduced Death in this movie, it, one, it would have been too much. It would have kind of felt like the first Thor movie where there was just too many things going on. Yeah. Um, two, yeah. I actually, I can, I can attest that personal experience with. I took my best friend to see it, and he actually, I let him borrow the driver right now, but he's not a huge fan. And I've kind of gotten him into it over the years, and uh, he actually thought it was he he thought it was terrible in the comics. The the whole romance with death thing, he hated it. And I ah, think he needs to go all the way back to the beginning to understand that one, though. True, but I think the the same would be the, the true for most non comic fans. That most people would not just take that pill and swallow it. Yeah. And it would have come across a lot cheesier than I think they were going for. I got Maybe. a bucket of cyanide capsules. Come on down, people. Okay. <laughs> so, uh. so, hey, wait a minute. So I want to hit the chat room because a lot of chat going on. They're talking to us a lot. So I'm going to be hitting them a lot. Yeah, so, good. so, so, so Spence had mentioned to me, she says, she says, Spider-Man, really? That was the one that broke you up? Look, Spider-Man was, yes. was one of my big comics when I was a kid. When I was a kid, yeah. I read... I read Spider Man. I have like I I may I might have a couple hundred Spider Mans from from way back then, and Tom mm-hmm. Holland is the that he is that's him that's Spider Man. That they 
He's the best, most true to the comic version of Spider-Man, in my opinion. Um, I think it's without even a question. And then um, uh, uh, Spence also said, uh, wait a minute, hold on a minute. Let, let me do let me do David first. David said that broke his eight year old kid's heart. Spider Man, London, my daughter nine. She fuck. She loves Tom Holland, and she was like, oh no. They, she looked at me. She goes, Daddy, they killed Spider Man. And I was like, he'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. Cause I thought she was gonna break out. I mean, I, I, she looked like she was yeah, about yeah. to fall fucking fall apart. And I told her, I was like, I, I told her, I said, don't worry. Marvel's got too much money invested in Tom Holland. He'll be back. And then oh, oh, <laughs> I, I'm sure she just totally, totally got that. Right. No, she oh, did. Okay, she did. I, I totally metagamed it, and she did it. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then, um, uh, the, 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 where was it? Uh. The, did anyone do the did Thanos kill me? I did. Uh, I did. I survived. You survived. I'm Jay. I, I'm, I'm gone. Dead. You're gone. Okay, good, good. What do I do? <laughs> I have to go to a site. I'll do it real quick yeah, or, and a, let you know. There's, I don't know. There's some site did Thanos. I've okay. seen it. It's, it's been a Facebook thing, but you know. Oh, okay. my boss was texted me with it, and I hadn't seen the movie yet. I'm like, dude, I don't even want to like see any of this shit until I see it. It's like, come on, Jay, take it. I'm like, I don't need to know anything about this yet. Right. Uh, so. Uh, so real quick, going along with the who hit you the most, I will say that my best friend, when you know, I looked over to him when the right after the figure snap, as soon as you see Winter Soldier come on screen, he's just like Steve. He like holds on his hands. He's like, no. And I'm sitting there thinking like, oh, Craig, you haven't seen anything yet, <laughs> right? Dude, I was pretty upset about Groot too because like I I love Groot and it's like, no, no, he's just he's already died. You can't kill him again. Yeah, yeah right. To lay another stone on that pyre. James Gunn revealed what his last line meant, and it meant dad. Mm. So Dang. Rocket's sitting there, and Groot's last line to Rocket is dad. Oh, oh dad. Oh, man, see? Mm. The feels, all the feels. And that's that's what's so good about this. Everybody looking for Sam, and he can't find Sam because he, he dissipates before he can find him. Yeah. Hey, you know what have been you know what have been really cool? Okay, this is fucking horrible. All right, I'm going to hell. I'm everybody get ready. Get my hell. No, we're all my, going to hell here anyway. My hell it's ticket fine. train or train ticket ready. So, being that Stan Lee is like about to check out him, and he's like in a nursing home, half demented, <laughs> and his people are abusing him and shit. They should have totally had him check out. Then he wouldn't have to be in any more Marvel movies because he's probably not going to make it to any. Oh, thing. oh, Stan Lee. Oh, I have an I have a solution for that. They What's need it? when he's having a good day. They need to just green screen him with some very generic stuff that he's yeah. talking about for like a you know seven or eight or nine next you know ten twenty movies that that they can just green you know like uh, CGI oh, just green him, screen him in. in yeah oh yeah, yeah okay he just like, like he, just let him talk about yeah. stuff talk a about future comics, of cameos whatever. for yeah, later yeah. Right. fantastic he's already built a bunch of them yeah no, has he? oh yeah, yeah they yeah. they they like filled his cameos ahead for the next several ones like i know i'm, I'm pretty sure they're already filming adventures for anyway but i'm pretty sure his, his cameo for at least through that one's good all right well they could just so, they could just fucking grand Marf talking or fucking princess leia's ass into the movies <laughs> yeah right <laughs> all right so here's my question before we move on and that is that do you guys suppose that uh thanos is absolutely sure that there was no other choice and if that is the case does the MCU actually cover and is the MCU actually like within its known self know the entire universe is like or are there unexplored regions of the known universe? Because for that, I'm just like, what? You know, again, it's sort of like bad Thanos. There were there were there was something else you could have found other areas in the universe. Maybe use the space, you know, stone to find other inhabitable planets farther away. Move, move half those people again. Again, I'm just saying. So I Sorry, think Thanos has been in this game for a while. Uh, he's pretty experienced. We don't really know how long he's lived. Like, he was already a fully grown adult by the time he found Gamora. He could be centuries old. Oh, yeah. dude, he's, really he's old as fuck, right? Jay, Jay how old's Thanos? Come on, you're our Thanos expert. How old is he? <laughs> well, he's been around since the 1960s, and he was probably a couple hundred years old then. Who freaking, I don't know. Uh, isn't he, like, some kind of, like, fucking super being? Like, can he, like, I pretty mean, much. he, oh, he no, goes fucking toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk. No, but he he's a he's an eternal from Titan is all he is. Yeah, and right. So over the years they, they've jacked him up and they've made him more impressive. I mean, the original Thanos had a bunch of robots that were running around being Thanos, and then he had cybernetics and then he kept improving himself and right. then he got the infinity wall and stuff. I mean, it's just I don't know. It, every time you see him, he's different. So it really just depends on who the writer is at the time. Right. Hey, yeah, quick, and and who knows what they did with the movie version of him. So. Oh yeah, the movie the movie I mean 
they show him on Titan and it's destroyed. Right, it's but like, it's not it's not Titan from the comics because in the comics it was the well, Moon Titan. Yeah, that's right. that's the thing, and so it's like you just don't know exactly what the extent they they've done with him. So and at least he's not it... he's not the ultimate Thanos, which I would have fucking walked out of the theater. So can can I give can I give a big giant shout out to to min, to, to gigantic dwarf Peter Dinklage? That was yes. fucking awesome. Yes. yes, that was awesome. I love Peter Dinklage so I much. Do too. The monster dwarf. <laughs> Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, was, was that awesome. was so cool. It's like it's. He says, "Yeah, made by dwarves." And then this fucking giant comes out. And you're like, "Oh, it's a giant dwarf!" It's <laughs> fucking awesome. See, so awesome. that should be a, a class in D and D. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> giant. Oh my god, Mike, that would be so badass. Giant. Dwar- I want to play a giant dwarf. He's got dwarf proportions, but he's like a normal sized person. That'd be fucking or great. Or bigger. God, the giants. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, be the best. Okay. All right. So I, I only have one other difference uh, from the comics to the movies, and I'm, if you guys want to discuss any more, uh, I don't want to run over too much on time. But um, the Hulk was the harbinger of Thanos, and not the Silver Surfer. Thanks, fucking hashtag. Thanks, Fox. So uh, I would have loved to have had the Silver Surfer, but um, oh yeah, I, cool. I, yeah. I agree. No, but they, they couldn't do it. The timing was just, it was too fucking tight. Bringing anything from the Fantastic Four verse, uh, monetary-wise or, or property-wise, it was it was so close to them acquiring that property. I don't think they could have they, done it. They still haven't acquired it yet, I don't think. Some, I no. heard something like Comcast is getting trying to get on the deal, too, somehow. Yeah, uh, so it's, still, yeah. yeah, it's still not a concrete thing yet. So my understanding is this. So they, it's this weird thing where there's production rights and there's writer rights or something. And Fox acquired, or I mean, Fox Disney, Disney acquired back their rights to, to the material, but not their rights to produce it. It's weird. It's some kind of division yeah. thing. But they could basically just sit on it and no one can, you know, no one can make anything with it because they own, they own right. the to make stuff right. But they can't produce it because they don't own the rights to produce it. But I can't imagine anyone, anyone, not going, hey Disney, you make something. We have the rights to produce it. We'll, we'll produce it. We'll produce the fuck. We'll we'll put it out there. Yeah, you know, I just can't imagine them not making that deal. You have to be the dumbest motherfucker in the world not to like <laughs> not to like take that deal because Disney doesn't fuck up. They get it right. You know right. what I mean? You you would have to be dumb as shit not to take that deal. I mean, look at look at uh, look at Sony. They saw the money. They were like, yeah, you can have Spider Man back. We get our cut, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> you know? yeah. uh, well, they I, only did it after they screwed it up a couple times. Yeah, I, yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta turn my camera around because I did this on the other computer. But uh, just so everyone knows, <laughs> oh, Dennis got you. That's, yeah. that's half of us right there. Oh, he doesn't yeah. care. No longer exists. Yeah, that's that's perfect. All right, just me and you, Pete, for the rest of the show. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done it. How hard is that to do, Mike? Nothing. Just click on the link on the. Um, uh, I have it pinned to the top. Spence oh, put hey. it in the chat. Yeah, you're right. 50-50. Hold on. Here we go. Look. Right there. Okay, Fez. I guess you and I do get to share a bed together after all. Yeah, look at that. Man. Pete, it was always supposed to be you and I in hell. I know, right? <laughs> well, stay. Hey, hey, Mike. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm in the soul. Hey, I'm in the soul stone. All right, look. You know, I want to hit some... That's perfect, though, because you got to break up all the parents. <laughs> yeah, it's half and half, right, man? Will, hey, Will, you're now a mythwit. Mike, sorry, si- si- fucker. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pile of dust. <laughs> Carry on, Will. Carry on. Dust in Carry the Carry the mantle. I'll, I'll All right, come on. Let, let's finish. We got about we got about 15 minutes to spend on this. So, okay. what do we want to right. hit before right. we go? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, here, here are the ending. By the ending, I'm gonna I'm gonna review the deaths and I'm gonna review okay. the survivors. Okay. Now, uh, the non the non dusted deaths. Okay, which I thought was important to yes. uh, talk about, but I will have a caveat at the end of this. So the non-dusteds were Heimdall, Loki. Now I we believe the collector, but we don't have an on-screen near you know death for him at all. But we we have to presume that he's dead. I think he was laying there. So uh, and the Gamora, yeah, yeah. yeah, Gamora and Vision, right? They're so the four pre-snap deaths. Yes. Yeah. And then we have oh that was five actually so, and then we have uh, the Dusteds the dust the Dusties, uh, Bucky, Black Panther, Groot, Scarlet Witch, Mantis, 
Drax, Star Lord, Doctor Strange, Spider Man, and I even went and found even the ones I'm going to include the post credit people. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yep. Nick Fury and Maria Hill. Now that's nine, and. And I, I put this in here for, for all of us as well. I, I assume, no, you know what? I'm just going to say that Jay probably is the opposite of this. But fingers crossed that Iron Fist was uh, was killed by Thanos as well. Oh, With any God, luck. Yes, oh, okay. yes there yeah, we go. I'll Good. Yay. Thank you, know, you Libby. Mr. Contrary. Thank you, Jay. Hey, yeah. oh, wow, we aligned on something. Hey, with oh, any shit. with any luck, <laughs> Iron Fist is Iron Dust, okay? Iron <laughs> Filings. Yeah. Iron Dust. Iron Filings. What's that? What'd you say, Jay? Good one. Take Jessica Jones with him. Yeah, she can go oh, too. I like Jessica. No, I I liked Jessica season one. Season two was ugh, wasn't so uh, good. Did not like okay. season two. And you yeah, take season, all those season two was much less impressive too. too. All right, like it was, I looked at the first five episodes and they just got boring. I'm gonna tell you what, about. they fucking take Luke Cage. I'm I'm we're gonna you're, fight. You're, you're gonna be an Avenger. Yeah, I'm gonna be pissed <laughs> off. Luke Cage okay. is the man. All right, so the A wall survivors okay that would be ant-man and the wasp just like uh who, who do you always think when you say ant-man and the wasp like uh such such in the kid right it was it uh no me just me no uh okay go ahead uh that was three of the a walls and then i'm sure we're worth saying t the tv people we don't know who was spared or killed although well, again, the tv guys are like almost a separate universe at this point so yeah they're, they're kind of yeah they're, they're supposed to be part of the universe sucks but... What's that? Agents of, Sh Agents of Shield is still around. They've yeah, it is. They did, say, they did say Agents of Shield is and, in the MCU, and they tied it into the freaking movie too. I was watching it this week. I'm like, are you kidding? So I and, can't take much. Uh, I, I, I missed like the the second half of this the, the season this year, so I'm not completely caught up on them. All right, and I'll tell you and what. The if final... they dust, if they dust the fucking Punisher, I'm coming through the screen. Go ahead, my. <laughs> All right, so. Uh... And the, uh, this is the, the final list of the people who, who survived, which I call, I call this list survivor guilt, is <laughs> Thor, Black Widow, Banner, uh, Rocket, uh, Tony Stark, War Machine, and Captain America. Now, that's about eight survivors. So, uh, and I don't know if, if, did I get any, did I miss anyone? Because I was trying to go through this list fairly thoroughly. There, there probably are, but I'll tell you what, it's, it's interesting that the original Avengers are still left. All of them are oh, left. Yeah. Almost think, all of Guardians of the Galaxy is gone. I think it was by right. design that the original Avengers are left. Of course. I think, I think Avengers 4 is going to bring it full circle. You have the original six there. Captain Marvel is going to play an important role, but I think Hell at the end yeah. of the day, it's going to be the original six who saved the day yeah. in Avengers yeah. 4. I think Captain they're going to Marvel. save the day, but I also think that it's going to be bringing in the the new guard of the avengers for yeah. the rest of it's going to be kind and, of a passing of the torch they've said that yep. avengers yeah. 4 marks the end of an era so it's going to be the end of the old avengers and we're going to have the new avengers yeah. uh we will probably see some or all at least of the original six die i think cap could probably die i think tony could probably die i think well are wait a minute. Die either a hey, will either die or retire for some reason you know like be yeah, like okay right. that's i did my part i'm out you know whatever yeah. we're going to pass it off to the new it's, guard it's very likely I was reading some of uh, some of some theories, which which I kind of like, is that uh, Tony was having dreams, quote unquote, of him having a, of uh, Pepper being pregnant, assuming Pepper didn't phase out, or again, assuming that even whoever phased out or didn't phase out, is could still be brought back, um, that she could be pregnant, and uh, hopefully it's not Thanos's baby, but again, saying that it's not, um, that he could decide, you know what, I want to be a better father to my son so i'm i'm not fucking doing this shit anymore and he may pass the uh the mantle you know the yeah. who, wasn't there in the comics who who ended up being like a Rhodes, Rhodes, james yeah. Rhodes. Okay. the guy who's playing war machine took his place for a while yep yeah it could be that something eh. like that no i you know i i don't think it will be because I, it just I, I don't for think... the, because the actor play uh uh don Cheadle is just too old he's getting yeah. old old oh, dude he's, i wanted to mention he's showing that. his age did you yeah, guys yeah. notice that all the Avengers are looking old as not all? I'm sorry. So, so Black Widow, obviously, she's she looks awesome still. But like fucking Tony Stark is looking old, right? Don Cheadle looking old. Don Cheadle was looking old as shit. Holy, yeah. shit. he like aged like ten years since the last movie. When I saw him, I was like, "Ooh, it's an old man." <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and what? Um, who else was it? Who else did I notice? It was Mark Ruffalo is looking kind of old. 
I mean, even since Thor Ragnarok, he looked older mm-hmm. in this. Like he, he looked. Like he can be old though. Him. Like he's one that can keep going even when he gets older. Yeah. Well, I mean, so that's not necessarily. Is. Yeah. Hey, the how cool would it be? Before. How cool would it be if he was like, like. You know, like like fucking Stanley, like huh, that kind of age, right? And he turned to the Hulk and just be like all fucking big and tough and shit again. You know, just be like, shit, I ain't never leaving this form. So yeah, so all right, so let's let's talk about where this is going. I think that's where we are, right? Yeah. So, so where could this go? And I, I want to start because I did a lot of fan theory stuff. I read I read all these fan theories of things that could be. Uh, and I'm going to touch on one that Jay is going to love and Mike's going to give me shit for again. Uh, but I think this would be a fucking absolute perfect time. If they can do it, if they can do it, um, like monetarily and, you know, and, and, and rights wise to bring in the Fantastic Four. And I'll tell you why. They got the rights. Be a good time to do it. And and Jay, correct me if I'm wrong or will either one. Doctor Doom is always fucking in the middle of this shit. Whenever there's cosmic stuff going on, cosmic energy stuff, stuff that is like universal power wise, Doctor Doom is always in the middle of that shit. As a matter of fact, I think in the comics, when all this Infinity Gauntlet, because there's, there's a whole stream of stories, all these different stories going on with Infinity Gauntlet, I think Doctor Doom winds up controlling the universe, right? And he brings the uh, universe well, back that, into existence that, or something. That wasn't the most recent storyline with the Secret yes. War. During the original Infinity Gauntlet storyline, he tries to get it and just fails miserably. Because they but, but it's in the Secret Wars, right? Which had something right. to do with Infinity Gauntlet, didn't it? Wasn't it like wrapped up in it somehow? Uh, I didn't read it, so I can't... Uh, I know that Black Panther was really in it at some point. Okay. So, what? Do you, what Jay, what was that? Uh, I haven't read the new... I don't what? read anything new Marvel. But, but Doom is always in the middle of this shit, right? Like when the Beyonder you know, did his stuff, like Doom stole so his power. Pulled in because he's a he's a powerful, smart person. Yeah. You know, usually it's like get the brains together and figure out what's going on. But I can see I can see Stark because Stark we all know for a fact, right? Because if you watch the movie, you know that Stark is important to solving all this because Doctor Strange saw the future, the two hundred and some million, uh, whatever twenty three right, million. How many was it? Fourteen million. Four, Fourteen million. Yeah. Okay. And he saw that Stark had to live. Like he, that was it. He's like, it's the only way, Tony. He said, it was very clear when he said this. So yeah. Stark is going to have some. He's going to do something where they come out on top. Right. I could see Stark working with Doom. I mean, the two of them together and Reed Richards. Can you imagine all three of them? That's what you would need. Those brains to beat you right. know, the Infinity Gauntlet. So I, why I don't. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, well, I was just going to say, I don't think that. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've already filmed the movie. I'm yeah. pretty sure they filmed it concurrently with Avengers: Infinity War. So that's completely out. What he's Sorry, saying. Dude. Just say yeah, you, yeah, you've just said. You just said it. Put it to bed. It's okay, all right, buddy? Also, I no, it's Fantastic Four. Uh, right? I'm I don't get Silver hey, Surfer. Hey, you don't get that. Silver hey, Surfer's awesome. I've never been a huge FF fan. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm with you on that. And Jay will tell you, I am I'm a F four F I'm a F four hater. Right, Jay? <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> it's not that I want them to be in it. I'm just saying that they got the rights back. This would be the perfect time to bring them in. There, because look, there was this was the fan theory. Okay, this is the fan theory, and this is why this is kind of cool. This is actually kind of cool. The flashback to the Fantastic Four, 1966. They go up in their rocket. They hit that cosmic storm or whatever. They get sucked into some other university universal time thing, whatever. Right. After Thanos snaps his fingers and the universe is the way it is, they appear out of that thing. Only a day has passed for them, right? They still think it's 1966. They arrive in our time. Here's this super genius with all this retro science and shit. They still have the 60-something mindset. It would be really fucking cool. I was like, that would be a really cool way to do them. That that was just a cool fan theory. I don't think they'll do that because they've already done the little cap. I know, I know, I know, but it was just cool. Just, anyway. They've already tread that territory. So, so go ahead, hate on it, Mike. Go ahead. No, there's nothing to hate on. Why am I going to hate <laughs> on a vacuous topic that is an impossibility? Nope. <laughs> All right, Mike, what's your fan theory? What are they going to do? Oh, you know what? How I, are they going to fix this shit? No, I've. I, all right. So, all right. So, you want me to give you the one that I want to be that I don't think will happen, but I'll, all right. Say whatever you want to say. No, I, uh, here's what's going to make the most sense. They are going to find other ways to travel back in time. It is not going to be with the time stone, but what they're going to do, this is, this is my, my, I've thought about a lot of different theories, and this is the one I'm going to go with, and that they are going to jump back in time in different scenes from past movies, and yep. they're going to fix 
small things, just little tiny things. They're going to tweak, 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 tweak from all the different movies to bring things to a different situation as the movie's going to happen. And I don't exactly know how that's going to play out cinematically, but I, I feel that that's how it's going to be. And, and I did. They, they have to do it without to, him to, knowing hey, about it. To defend your point, Mike. I saw some fan theory or something where they're talking about somebody saw some scenes or pictures of them wearing some kind of device on their wrist, some kind mm. of like thing, and it looked like they were traveling through time. So there is some merit to that. Mm. Well, oh, yeah. Have you seen any and, of that? Uh, I, I did briefly hear. I've been trying to stay away from as many Avengers Force spoilers as I can, but I did see something about there's a, a, a bunch of time travel theories out there. And what do you, what do you think, Jay? Does that work for you? Yeah. I honestly think that Tony Stark's going to pull the Infinity Watch and all the original Avengers will be the Infinity Watch and then you'll get all the mm. new characters for the later films. So how that does, how does Infinity, really cool. Hey, fill everybody in on the Infinity Watch. So the Infinity quick. Watch was Adam Warlock gets the Infinity Gauntlet at the end of the Infinity Gauntlet series. He gives the stones to Thanos, Gamora, Pip the Troll, um, and somebody else. And they basically protect the stones. Moon, Moon Dragon? Yeah, Moon Dragon. So they protect the stones so no one else can unite them so they give thanos a reality stone because he's too fearful to use it again i don't drink you know that bastard um so yeah, i think that, that so i think that if tony stark if he's the key to this whole thing he probably gets the gauntlet breaks it down gives it to the original avengers that that are left and they go their merry way because if they're not coming back for more movies that would be the ideal way to do it and the way yeah. the mcu's been working it's probably what's going to happen of course i personally would like to see adam warlock be the person to do it but it's like i don't think so yeah it's depressing so Hold on. they said they said he will be in guardians 3 and they said he was not going to be in infinity war what but they they did not they specifically said he wasn't in infinity war though they yeah, did okay. say he wasn't going to be in avengers 4 all right so look it's a possibility I, I know for a fact captain marvel is going to play a big part because oh yeah so think about this. So it's it's universal wide, right? It's all races, yeah. all people. So the Kree got hit, mm -hmm. the fucking the 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 scrolls, even the scrolls got hit. And yep. we know that Captain Marvel is going to be dealing with the Kree and the scrolls, and they're not going to be happy with Thanos either because he killed half their friggin' people, right? Yeah, so, it's not the good Captain Marvel, the the, the Holland one. <laughs> no, he died of cancer, Jay. So anyway, so, right. so he, he's in the movie though. So Captain so Captain Marvel is going to be a major part of this movie, I guarantee you. There's no way that's not going to be a thing. They have timed this so that Captain Marvel comes before the next movie, right? And it takes place back in time so that they can introduce this character and bring this character in. This character's going to come out. And, of course, Nick Fury called for Captain Marvel, right. which kind of, you know. So she's definitely going to have a, a major, major role in this. I can't imagine Adam Warlock not having a major role in this. How can you have the Infinity? How can you have a resolution so, of the Infinity thing without Captain without without Captain Warlock? To answer that, the Russo brothers have said that Avengers Four will not follow anything set before it in comics. So yeah, whatever's going to happen do. in Avengers Four, no one is going to see coming. No one's oh. going to be able to guess like, "Ooh, what comic storyline are they pulling from this?" Was the answer's done. You're They're absolutely doing their own right. Thing. I forgot that I did hear this. That they said, "What." Happens. Think of Avengers Four as the Infinity War Part Two. Like yeah, it's it really sort of be. like well, this is right. I mean, it it it's going to wrap up some things, but it's going to be its own movie. And I think in that, yeah. uh, there will be some things that'll be wrapped up, but there's going to be other things. And for the, and that's why I was also going to say that most likely, and this is part of what I'm going to project out. Uh, say it now. Hear me later. Is that they're going to link up with Thanos. Thanos is actually going to kind of be on their side, or at least be they're going to work together. So to I'm not going to necessarily disagree with you. I think he's going to be in that wonderfully gray area. In the yeah, yeah. Where he's yeah. not really a hero, and he's not really a villain, he's, because he's filled that role a lot. In the comics. He's going to try and get Gamora back. That's his. That's going to be his. Yes. I could, his I could I mean, see that. But he's, yeah. he's got, my thinking is, he's got that little girl Gamora. What if Gamora actually is that little girl now, and that's it. That's her character. She grow. She has to grow up again. What do you mean he's got that little girl again? Remember at the end of the movie, he goes into that zone or whatever the I, fuck he was. I'm not and, convinced that was actually Gamora. I think no, it was. But, I mean, just, I'm just guessing. I'm just throwing this out no, there. I'm just, was, this was is Nebula. Just, he was no, in the Soul Stone. That was Nebula. 
No, it wasn't. That was Gamora. No, she was, it was green. It was the child Gamora, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, child. Nebula. It was child Gamora. They're going to go see it again on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying. What if? What if they go? They don't because it'd be hard to bring her back. She wasn't killed by the Infinity Stone, so she was. She was just killed like regular, like regular style. What if that's how they bring her back? She's actually a kid, the same way they were doing with Groot. That could be a I way mean, to do it. It's possible, but I'm gonna say that. I, I, from what it, some things I've read and listened to about the Soul Stone is that the Soul Stone can take the personas of any one person at any point in their life and, and use that as a communication device to communicate with someone. So I think that the point was that the little girl version that he loved the most was going to have more of an impact in saying basically, so you happy yeah. now? Was it all worth it? So, oh, you okay, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, so do guys. you think do you think Vision's gonna come back in any way? I mean, he could. There's no reason why he couldn't. He no, could just be shut. In, huh? Yeah, in 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 the comics, they said he they were able to get him back without the. Without yeah, he the, doesn't he, need the stone, right? Because he's, right. he's they're, he's they're gonna find another way to power him. The Wakandans, yeah. I believe, are able to make that happen. Hey, are we gonna have we can have Wonder Man, right? Jay isn't uh, uh, Jay and Will God, isn't, they, isn't Wonder Man already, like the reincarnation of fucked, Vision? They already fucked that character up with Agent with what was it um Agent Carter. Ugh. You already sunk that one, guys. No, just forget about that ever happened and bring Wonder Man. I love Wonder Man. Wonder Man. Well, cool. I know, but I'm just, I'm Nathan, just telling you, they, Nathan they, Fillion they... was supposed to portray an after portrayed Wonder Man in the second Guardians movie until he cut his seeds. Ah, oh, come on. But he, he played Simon Williams. All right, so so we know who has to come back. Okay, Black Panther's coming back to fucking life. Okay, the, 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 he's got a movie, right? The, the, Black Panther was such a money maker. There's no way he's not coming back. Okay. Spider-Man's coming back. There's no way he's not coming back. They, they've already they've already got the movie coming out. My mom um, thinks that Loki's going to save the day. Loki, I, Loki will come back because Loki has died before. They say that in the, he dies all the time in the comics. Yeah, but he gets what killed about left what Kevin right. Feige said? He said there were certain people who died, died. Certain. He, he, that, that he said the people who died in, in uh, Look, Infinity War are dead. You and, can never... I, I, I don't know care. You can't. I don't care what you say. Loki, of all the characters in Marvel, of every character, you take every character in the Marvel universe. You can never trust whatever happens to Loki. He's the god of trickery. He's the trick. He's the he's the trickster god. Yeah, he you wasn't getting tricked. Could... He was getting choked. He's the no. god of chokery. Was he? Was he? Well, hold on. Was he? I oh, I get it. I see what you're saying. I do. Because that's the I kind respect, of shit Loki does. I know respect. He could have at some point confused everyone, and then it, it, he, he he choked out some other fucking it, Asgardian. It, I as, get as, it. As far as I'm concerned, anytime Marvel nerfs a death with Loki, I'm buying it. I don't care. Right. He's the trickster god. That's I mean, uh, that's what he does. That's his okay. superpower. All right. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree. They, they have to have some deaths stay permanent though. Right. They that's do. that's fine. It, well, Hemdall, Hemdall's I, gone because Erebus Hemdall. didn't want to come back. Yeah, I think, all, I think all of the pre-snap deaths are permanent. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see, won't it, we? Yeah, we will. We will. All right, hey, we're all on one. time. I need last <laughs> words. Uh, I, and you know what? I'm going to start with Jay because Jay's talked the least. Jay, last words on Infinity War. What? Do you, anything you want to say? Let's snap away, man. It, look. <laughs> Jay wants <laughs> them all to stay dead, don't you? No, no. I honestly, killing. I like Black Panther, not the Black Panther movie, but the character was pretty badass. Yeah, he's pretty yeah. badass. By by doing him in, I, I watched. I was like, wow, you killed off like all the black characters in this fucking oh, whole Marvel they? universe. I didn't even they, notice. Did they? Falcon, no, Black Panther, the half the Wakandans got wiped out. Right. What about James mm -hmm. Rhodes? Did they kill him too? He's, he's, no, he's no, alive. Robinson, the general's still alive. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah. I I think sure he might still be alive. Then maybe okay. she'll be the new Black Panther. She could be. Yeah. She could be. Mm -hmm. yeah, why not? Sure. Sure. Yep. Sure. They were saying that was possible. All right, but so they're it, not gonna... it was good, but you know, nothing beats classic. Classic. You know, the great drama of Captain Marvel, the original Marvel, and Adam Warlock doing their shit and Soul Gems sucking souls and Pip the Troll. Hey, wait, so Brian Brian Gregory says Zordon will save them all. Who the fuck is Zordon? Power, Who's, Power Rangers, man. Oh, Power Rangers. Oh, oh my God. Brian okay. Cranston, man. He's going to save them all. Oh, hey, okay. Pete, I, yeah. I don't. I didn't know it either, and I'm proud of you and I that we didn't know that. Right, I'm, I'm proud so, that I didn't know that. Okay. Yes. All right, so Will, last thoughts. Last thoughts. I, I just thought it was an incredible movie. It was everything that I wanted out of it. 
and I'm so happy at the end of the way that this was like the Empire Strikes Back of Marvel movies. Yeah, it was fantastic. I totally agree. I'm in. Mike? Okay, well, final thoughts are that you asked me to do the movies in their release dates, and I came up with a list that was chronological and theatrical releases, and the only thing that I can glean from this list is to say, interestingly, uh, Captain America the movie, even though it came out you know, after Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk, was actually, if you're going to watch the movies in their chronological order, you should technically watch Captain America first because Correct. that's what happened uh, first. And then um, Iron Man and Iron Man 2 and then the Incredible Hulk because of the way that they, came, they happened in order. Uh, so... Nice that's job, basically Mike. all I'll say. Other hey, than we need that, to put that in the notes. We need to like publish that somewhere. You did a lot of work okay. on this. That's good. That's but fine. I will say that I I prefer watching the theatrical release because all the end credit scenes tend to tie into the next theatrical release. That's true, uh, in most parts. And the other thing though is that there are so many things that happen in certain movies that refer back in time, that it's it's fascinating when you uh, even like even things like Black Panther when it goes back into the eighties. And, you know, um, there are some interesting I watch and maybe I'll try and get the, the one that I watched because it was like maybe a maybe 12 or 15 minute um, explanation, which really hit on all the important timeline things in, in a chronological order. So let me get that link for you um, and we'll do that. OK, cool, cool. Uh, but other than that, uh, nothing else to say. I, it was great. I loved it. Can't wait. I got one more. I got, so my last thoughts on it. So I've already said I love the movie. Fuck, fantastic. Knocked it out the park. Good job. I, I no complaints really. None. Zero. Uh, I would say that uh, um, I, I I got one more like theory about things that are going to happen that that we didn't get to that I just want to bring up because it, it's I think it's really I, I honestly think this one's really going to happen. So Ant Man and the Wasp, right? That's coming out. I think they are going to go into this quantum universe, right? And and I don't think they're going to go to the Micronauts. And it has to do with rights and shit. That would be so awesome if they went into the Micronauts universe, but they're not going to. They're not going no. to because of rights. Because because I think uh, Hasbro is it Hasbro who has them. Hasbro. Hasbro yeah. wants to do a whole GI Joe Micronauts. Right. They they want to do their own yeah. universe. So so we're not going to get the Micronauts, which would be ooh so awesome. But I think what's going to happen is they're going to be in this quantum universe, so they're going to be immune to Thanos's snap. And someone was saying, and I think this is a possibility, that not only was Thanos' snap, and Jay, you'll like this, not only was it that half the people disappeared, but using the Time Stone and the Reality Stone, which is why he needs all of them, Mm -hmm. it's not that they just disappeared like they died. Everyone's going to forget that they Mm -hmm. ever existed at all. Yeah, that's true. He's going to go, he's literally going to make it as if none of these people actually existed. Existed. That's just, this is just a fan theory, don't know. But no, I, I agree with that. I wholeheartedly if, agree with that. That, would, that wouldn't be bad. Although I would really like to see an end credit scene to Ant-Man and the Wasp where we see... Well, so I think the movie will take place pre-snap. I'd really yeah, like to yeah. see it an end credit scene post-snap. Well, where they said it does. Hank Pym go to dust. I think well, no, no. no, no, I think I think what they're going to... Uh, this, this, I'm, I'm guessing. What I think is going to do, they're going to come out of this quantum universe. This shit has gone down. They were immune to it because they were in the quantum universe. Not only are they going to be immune to it, but they're going to remember all these heroes and they're going to be the ones that go, what the fuck happened? Right. And they're going to have to go convince everybody that there used to be people and this guy Thanos made them all disappear. Maybe. That's just a thought. But I mean, yeah. that would be a hell of a thing to try and develop in I a like movie. It. I but like anyway, it. that was just my last thoughts. Fucking banging job. Marvel, you kicked ass. All right, everybody. Let's do... This? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Game. All right, everyone, it's game time with the Mythwits. I'm your game master, Peter Bryant, and on this episode, we're playing Movie Soundbite Madness. So what we're going to do on this one is I have taken, I've gone through most, not all, because I only had access to some, and I can only get sound bites from certain ones, so I had to make my own. I had to, I had to go into the friggin' movies and cop, cra- capture sound bites from the movies. Where'd so you get those? I had, I, uh, Mike helped me out with this. He had a YouTube Red account. He let me look into it. I used my system to capture sounds. So what I did is I have sound bites from every, not every, but most Marvel movies up until uh, Infinity War. So Infinity War is not in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a sound bite, and you just got to tell me which 
Marvel movie this soundbite is from. That's all you got to tell me. Okay? So what we're going to do, uh, to, to make this completely fair, because I, I randomized the sounds as best I could, but each person has a, a row on my soundboard here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Will first, because he's our guest. Uh, Jay, is a, Jay is an honorary Mythwit, so, so Will's our guest. Will, out of you, Mike, and Jay, who do you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay, so Will is number one. So I'm going to put Will in. He's number one. Well, that's two L's in Will. Uh, all right, so you're going to go first. So, uh, okay, who goes second then? Let's let Jay go second. Jay is second. So then Mike is third. Fantastic. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to play. I'm going to play a sound bite. You tell me what movie it's from. If you're right, you get a point. If you're wrong, what did you do, Mike? Nothing. You uh, don't worry. I'll fix it. Keep okay. going. Keep going. All right. So, so, <laughs> so if you get it wrong, it's minus one. If you get it right, it's plus one. So that's how this game goes. All right. So you are on row one. So, uh, so Will, here's your first sound. And you'll never see me coming. Iron Man three. Fantastic, Will. That is a <laughs> fantastic. Yes, sir. So Will's got a point on the board. So, Mike, are you going to fix this anytime soon? I did. Thank you. All right. So, Jay, you're next. Jay, which movie is this from? Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. All right. So what was that? Avengers from Avengers. Avengers. <laughs> Jay, that is correct. Whoops. What the hell? No, stop. All right, sorry. Are you just, uh, wait, that, that wasn't Civil War? Nope. No, that was, was Avengers. Avengers. Okay. That was Avengers, All right. Mike. All right. All right. Um, I'm the area, Mike. Jesus crikeys. All right, so Mike, yeah. here's your first one. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Korg. I'm kind of like the leader in here. I'm made of rocks, as you can see, but don't let oh, that intimidate you. You don't need to be afraid it. unless you're made of scissors. <laughs> Just a little rock, paper, scissor joke for you. <laughs> Ragnarok. Yes, I love that fucking character. God damn it. <laughs> Please don't let Korg be dead. Please. I know, right? Right, right. All right. Will, you're up. Will, here you go. Never one to shrink from an honest challenge. Oh, Get after it. It's physics. Physics. Right, so I, if I lift it, I, I then rule oh, Asgard. Yeah, right. I will be reinstituting prima nocta. <laughs> will, that's correct. Boy, it's going to be a tough one to score. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jay. Jay, here's your second one. I have sensitive nipples. <laughs> My nipples hurt. Oh, goodness me. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Second one, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. What's, your, what, what's your answer? Oh, the first one. Yeah, the first, first Guardians one. of the Galaxy. Oh, Jay. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was <sighs> Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I haven't watched that one a second time yet. Putting on the yeah. jetpacks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right in the opening. Right in the opening. All right, Mike. Yes, Here's sir. your second one. I may be as pretty as an angel. But I sure as hell ain't one. <laughs> that is from the uh, first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Mike? That is correct. Thank you. Very good. All right, Will. Here's your second one. Or no, third one. Third one. Third one. The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for generations. A man to war. from warrior to warrior. Damn it. Uh -huh. I thought I'd trip you guys up. Uh, that is no. correct. Very good. Very good, Will. Very good, Will. All right, Jay. Here's your third one. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Where am I? Uh, Jay is number two. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Ready? Bro, why you ain't just shoot him right here? Because it's better to leave the crime scene more spread out. Makes us look like amateurs. Uh, I don't know. Captain America 2, Winter Soldier. Jay, that is wrong. incorrect. That was Black Panther. That was Claw talking to these uh, to, to Killmonger. Oh yeah, that's right. That sucky movie. I hate. <laughs> hey, 
You know what? How many times did you see Black Panther? Once. All right. I, yeah. I encourage you to watch it again. I didn't like it as much, and then I watched it this, a second time, and I found more appreciation for it. And I still, I still got to watch Guardians of the Galaxy two and Ragnarok again before I can get I gotta, to that. Well. I gotta tell you, so I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of of the Black Panther movie. I love the character. I like the, the actor. Really cool. The, yeah, the yeah, character's the actor's fantastic. Great. The, you know, and the story. Look, I gotta tell you, the story was solid. It really was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, good villain, very solid story. It just didn't. Maybe I gotta watch it again. Yeah, it I would watch it Civil again. War. Civil War. He was great. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I mean, no, I'm I'm saying even Black Panther the movie was well written. It had a good story. It had great characters, great development. I just, it just didn't. It's something I don't know. Anyway, oh. fuck. Where were we? Okay, Mike. Mike, your third one. Here we go, Michael. The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda. Wait, wait, that's not it. Well, I know. <laughs> one. And action. <laughs> Shit. Uh, you walk, oh, no, Mike, I got you. I'm sorry. I got you. Mike, here you go. Hey, you can't see me. I can see you. He can see me. Hi. Ant-Man. Fantastic. Yes, Mike, that is correct. Correct him undo. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, Will. Here we go. Here's your uh, here's your th- fourth one. You come from a family of thieves Iron and butchers. Yeah. What's that? Iron Man 2. <laughs> Will, he didn't hear it. God damn it. That yep. is correct. Will is killing it, man. Oh, yeah. Right, oh, yeah, yeah. Jay? Mike's not killing it, but, you know. Yeah, Mike, yeah. You're, you're killing it, too. You're killing it, too. Now, I just... <laughs> Will is just well. I know you're both actually, Mike. I got. I got to yeah. give it to you. Yeah, you have been very like on point. Because these Will is just I, I like, a... so certain, but so are you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not used to Mike being so certain about this stuff. All right, so Jay, here you go. Here you go, Jay. What troubles you, gatekeeper? I turned my gaze upon you in Jotunheim, but could neither see you nor hear you. Oh, that's Thor. It was shrouded from me like the frost giants that entered this realm. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay. He said Thor. I think, yeah. Thor what? Which movie, Jay? Thor. The name no, of the movie is Thor. Thor. Loki, Loki was, just got back from the Frost Giant world there. Yeah. Nope. From the Mike, first movie? They, I just, yeah, watched, I just watched that two weeks ago, so. <laughs> but, but Mike, yeah. the name of the first movie is just straight up Thor. Four letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, yeah sure, sure. Okay, yeah. Just like he was like, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Two one. I made sure one I two. checked. One or I two, checked. one, one two, one. Hey, guys, guys, I haven't ever watched as many movies as I used to. So, right, yeah. Jay, hey, hey, Mike, you keeping up with the score there? Uh, I'm yeah. losing. That's we got that one. I'm good. Yes, yes. There we go. All right, Mike. Huh? <laughs> Your last one. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Great scene. Uh, that was, hold on. That's a toughie. A little bit. I know. Hold on. Because Winter Soldier. There you go. That is correct, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, that was, that, that is one of my favorite Captain America Ooh. scenes ever. I love yeah, so that fucking yeah, scene. It is. And that's, a hey, that's the ultimate. That is Captain America ultimate. I think it's a scene from that, isn't it? I Did you read the ultimate? Oh no, Jay! Did you read the Ultimates? I think that was a scene from the Ultimates. What, like a like a borrowed scene from the Ultimates? I don't know. Captain America was in the Ultimates was a bad motherfucker. You did not mess. The Marvel's Captain America, the the MCU's Captain America is Ultimates Captain America, and he's so good. All right, so we have a we're going into a tie between Will and Mike. So I have a tiebreaker. Oh. All right. So this is going to be it's going to be just between Mike and Will. All right. Uh, it's a sudden death, so the first one of you to get one of these wrongs, I- wrongs, <laughs> wrongs is the loser. So, Will, here you go. You're the spider ling, crime fighting spider. You're Spider Boy. Captain America: Civil War. Spider Man. Yep, that is correct. Mike, here's yours. Death is what gives life meaning. 
to know your days are numbered. I mean, that's that's uh, strange, uh, uh, Doctor Strange. Correct. Well, <laughs> that's how Dad did it. That's how America does it. The original Iron Man. It's worked out really? pretty well so far. Really? Rolling hey. up of the sleeves? <laughs> dude, it's they're <laughs> random, dude. They're random. All right, Mike. No, I'm just there saying. you go. Perhaps you prefer one of your new companions, given that you seem to like them so much. Oh, this is much better. Whoa. The costume's a bit much. So tight. But the confidence. I can feel the righteousness surging. Hey, you want to have a rousing discussion about truth, honor, patriotism? Right. Uh, that was... I knew this was going to be a tough one. Oh, this is an this easy one. This is a tough one, Pete. Come on. No, it, it, it could be. It it is because it's it's throwing me off for a minute. All right. Uh, this was when Loki was talking to Thor. This was uh, Thor: Dark World. Correct. A mundo. Yep. All right. So I'm out of tiebreakers, but we have a special rule to Mythwits, right, Mike? <laughs> That's all right. The winner. I'm happy. I'm happy to concede to Will. You, you fucking Will, dude, I'm you sure. crushed it, Mike. You did, yeah, but Will, did. you're our guest, and you crushed it I'll more. Crush it. So, Will, give us a big old... <laughs> our winner! Yay! <laughs> Jay is too busy writing books to, uh, <laughs> to be watching these movies all the time. All right, so let's give some plugs before we end this show. Um... I'll start with Jay. Jay, you run a little company called Dilly Green Bean Games, and you make books out your ass. Unbelievable amounts of books, left and right and center. <laughs> Jay, just, how many fucking <laughs> books have this. you written? Uh, well, I don't know. Like, if you're talking books in print, probably like twenty. But if you're talking about overall game modules and shit, we're pro probably over the, I want to say the ninety mark. I gotta yeah. go and count them again. So ninety out of your ass. <laughs> And Jay does okay. look, look that's just, Jay that's does just one product line. Jay does his own writing. He does he has his uh your wife does your editing, right? Yep. And Jay does all his own artwork for the most part. I mean, I, you've had a tiny bit of help, but ninety nine point nine percent of a Jew, right? Actually a hundred percent currently. Well no, there's 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 like maybe point one percent that's helped you. Like uh I might well, have no, helped you, you with cover you know, you, in there. If if you talk the G core line, I've done that all myself, but you talk the yeah. other stuff. You're the one who taught me how to do my art, right. and you're the one who did, did design work for me in the beginning, along with Bob yeah. Cram, who, yeah. who I think believe you penciled the Hulk. Yeah, but so, I mean, what I'm going to tell you, for the past like 10 years, Jay's done all his own fucking artwork. It's been crazy. He's, he's a machine. So, Jay, where, are we, where do we find your stuff? Where can we find Jay Libby stuff? You can find us on uh, Facebook on Dilly, Dilly Green Bean Games, or you can find me at House of Jay. You can tell it's got the little eyeball with the at symbol in it. And uh, our primary product line right now is G-Core Prime and all the modules that go with it. And they're still pouring out. Of? Fantastic, right? RPG now. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Will. For my ass. Will, <laughs> Will is a writer. He's, he's, he worked. Uh, our last guys. So the last guys we had on last week's episode, we had Offshoot Comics. Fucking awesome guys. We had such a good time with them. And they, they worked with Will. Will, what do you got out there? Uh, so I've got uh, three three things that you can buy right now. The first one is a um, collection of poems and short stories called The Gates of Eternity. Uh, you should just be able to type that into Amazon and find it that way. The second two are the ones that I published with Offshoot. Um, the first one is called Secret Service. Find that one on Amazon. You actually have to type in Secret Service William Conway instead of Will Conway. And then the last one is called Starburn, The Blade of Straya. That one should be fairly easy to find. Uh, Blade of Straya, so Blade of S-T-R-E-Y-A. Also both yeah. from Offshoot. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Will Conway Literature. Uh, I do have a Twitter, but I never use it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like me. If you want to yeah. see, though, if you want to see what Will looked like like a long time ago, and, <laughs> and comparatively how handsome he is now, you should definitely check him out on Twitter, though. <laughs> yeah, I need to get hey, a new picture. <laughs> and, and if and if you if you want to see what I used to look like in the '80s, you can always go to my Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious i love posting those old pictures i mean i can laugh at myself uh, you know it was, yeah. it was flock of seagulls all the way um but yeah that, that was the good old days all right everybody uh that's that's that is it for this show 
Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for coming on. Fantastic. Good job. Um, thanks for, for spending some time with us and talking about Infinity War. Fucking great movie. Unbelievable. Absolutely. It's it's a monument. It's, I mean, it's, it's really a testament to movie making. And It really is. I, I just, I feel like, I somehow feel like people are, like, they're just people who are missing the, the, the this story arc of, of, of like fucking like 20 movies to make this movie. Like it was all going as, and it was all planned to go this way from the beginning. Like well, this no, wasn't no, just something that happened. Huh? What, what, well, when did you, when do you think that they, they started, Kevin Feige kind of got the idea. It was finally conceived about what, seven years ago, six or seven. They it had thought to be maybe Captain possible. America first or Avenger, right? War itself. Uh, yeah. yeah, probably around then because they had yeah. to plan it well enough in advance to put Thanos in the end credit scene for the first Avengers. Yeah, so and, I don't and think they had Thanos wreck. in mind. Like they might have had him as an idea when they first started with Iron Man and, and the Hulk, but I don't think they had anything concrete at that point. Yeah, and they probably okay, so... didn't really have anything concrete at the end of the first Avengers because, as Jay pointed out earlier, they made the reference to death, and then nothing really came of that. Well, hold on. I think I that was know, just no, no. more of a hey, this is Thanos. In the first Avengers, they had Thanos. So, I mean, I, I have to say that they were at least thinking of it. Oh, yeah, no, they, they, I think they had a direction for it. But mm-hmm. they didn't, I don't think at that point they really knew what they were going to do with this character yet. But, but they, they knew they were going to use it and they were going, I, mean, I don't know. I just, yep. to me, it's, it's just, it's it is. It doesn't completely take away. unprecedented. This was just yeah. an incredible landmark in, in filmmaking. No one, no it's one in movies. movies. So spectacular, too. Like, this movie could easily have flopped and it did the opposite. Right. And you have like, so you have like the, the, the Star Wars franchise, right? And Star Wars franchise is, is filled with nothing but fucking retcons and, and like, yeah. like, oh yeah, let's do this. Cause, oh, and we were always planning that and they were never fucking planning that mm-hmm. at all. Right. With this, this shit was set. This, yeah. This is the time. first of its kind and yes. at this scale for sure. It doesn't, totally. we don't take anything away from that at all. Loving it. I'm loving it. Fantastic. Yep. Good job. All right. All right, everybody. Let's do the thing. Uh, let's do that. All right, everybody. You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of The Mythwits. We're live on Facebook Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Please ask our guests questions or just banter with the other Mythfits. If you miss our live show, you can always catch us uh, on the uh, our Encore episodes on Facebook or YouTube. Find us on Facebook and Twitter as Mythwits. Check out Mythwits.com and Aetherforge.com for more cool stuff. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. And Mike, I'm phasing out Podbean. I'm tired of paying for it and we don't get anybody who listens to it. We got like one fucking listener a month. Do the oh, like, wow. follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate and make sure to share your favorite episode on social media oh. and help spread the meth wits over the entire planet. The podcast will still be there. It's just going to, I'm just going to put it back on Squarespace. Okay. Myth- oh, Pete, by the way, yeah. can, are we going to, we didn't get a chance to do this today. So can we do a, a an updated movie draft? Uh, yeah, we'll like, do that, Mike. It, let's do on, a, the, on the site. Okay. Let's just do a special episode or sure. something. We'll do like a fifteen-minute thing or something. Oh, okay. Myth- yeah, that's cool. Mythwits we'll do that. is part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out tsrpn.com for more cool shows. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't sell it, and don't wipe out half the universe with it. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, until next week, Mike. X Four.